welcome to uh, D and D Extra. How you doing, Dave? I'm tired. How are you? You know what I'm doing? What are you doing? Because I can't tell because I can't see you yet. But they can probably see you, so go ahead and tell them what you're doing. That's how besides, I'm doing, man. Besides breathing. <laughs> Did you hear the music? No. How did you not hear the music? Hold on. Know. Oh, well, I heard it, so hopefully it recorded. Otherwise, it's just me going. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I can hear you breathing. Is that part of the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to D&D Extra, <laughs> where we're going to talk about episode 12. My gosh, I can't believe there's only three episodes left. I know. Before we talk about that, though, I wanted to look and see, because I think the big big winner this year and this season in our challenge is going to be Aubrey. She is just racking up points. Yeah, left and right. She, she hasn't won any challenges, but she's winning confessionals and things like that. And Are you wanting me to see how many points she has? or what? No, I, well, I know that it's her and it's Ty, and I think it's Jason that are still up top. Uh-huh. The only way I think somebody can beat her is if they win. But so I went back and looked, where did we draw draft Aubrey? And it's funny because you still have your number one, Michelle. I lost my number one or Colton's number one, Liz. We still have our number two, Jason, and you lost your number two, Eve. I mean, uh, Neil. Eve? We, I know. <laughs> where I know. did that come from? I don't know. I've been watching Nicaragua right now, so I, there's a Eve. I forget what her name is. But anyway, we both lost three, four, five, and six. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. Because we still have you still have seven and eight Aubrey and Sydney. I still have seven and eight Joe and Ty, and we both lost both lost nine. Uh-huh. I just thought that was kind of neat. We both lost nine, and we both lost three, four, five, six. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I had Aubrey higher than Dan did. So the fact that we had Aubrey where we had her was because it was kind of a compromise. Dan wanted her like last. <laughs> yes, he did. I could tell by his challenge. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So ours was Anna. Jen and Liz were near the top, and I think we all wanted Jason. Except for only Col- Colton wanted Jason, but me and Kelly wanted Jason, so we ended up going after him because I thought you would go after Jason. Yeah. So. so, can you see me at all? No. Oh well, that's very unfortunate. I mean, we're on Skype, so okay. So I'm showing everybody else, and you're going to have to watch the video. So well, you turn can... off your camera, then turn it back on. Why would I do such a thing? Um, are you sure they can see you? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. So uh, I bought the uh, Logitech C920, which I don't know if it's going to make a difference because I had the C930, which is mm-hmm. supposed to be better, but maybe that's what's slowing everything down. Yeah. Uh, not in Skype, obviously, but anyway. But I have one more other thing to show you. Just say, what yeah, that's really see? cool whenever I say, check it out, David. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so whenever you rewatch the video, you'll see that I am one fourth of the way through the compendium of The Walking Dead, Compendium One. I'm about to start Chapter Three. Are you at all tempted to watch the show? <clears throat> I am indeed. That's what I'm talking about. You've been so, uh, did the boy shoot? Did did the boy kill the guy in the show, like he did in the comic? Shoot him so in the long. head? I want to say, okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> but everybody, <laughs> should, everybody should have known about this by now. We're talking Somebody about, gets only... shot in the head in the first ep- in the first season. Yeah. In the in the comic, it's by a little eight year old or ten year old. <clears throat> That's uh, um, Carl, his son. Yeah. And it's uh, what's the guy's name that he shoots? Shane, I think. Shane, played by um, John Barenthal, who plays the Punisher in Daredevil, Marvel's yeah. Netflix show. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think he does. In, I want to say wow. he does in a TV show. Gosh, it's like six seasons ago. That's pretty intense. It's very intense. So it's you, about you, survival. you need to go ahead and send me the uh, Condominium Book 2, <laughs> Comendium <laughs> 2. Same. Yeah, you need to go ahead and send that to me. And then you get this one. Right. And I'll this send you I'll send you book one yeah. when I'm done with it. Yeah, because I want to read it again. So so I guess they'll be kinda like like if we ever get divorced, David, we'll have to fight over these books. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's get through the season before I send you number two and number three. Yeah. Man, I'll we have exciting news. We have exciting news that only our patrons know about. 
and that is uh, that Aubrey has agreed to do our intro for next season. Mm-hmm. I did ask her to not record it until the season is over so that I'm not spoiled. Yeah. Because if she wins, you know, she needs to say the winner of Brains versus Brown versus Beauty. And if she doesn't win, she wouldn't say it. So I said, you know. But she was excited to do it. I can't wait to have her on the show. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. So uh, looking at the final six, do you want to listen to the um, preview first before we talk about it? Although you won't be able to hear it for some reason. So I guess not. Do you have it up on your computer? Well, I got it on my phone. Yeah, get it up on your phone, and then we'll both hit play at the same time, and they'll be able to hear it on my end. Well, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> David is pulling up the uh, preview. Survivor, now's the time to start scheming. This is the most edited preview I have ever seen in my life. It's like, it's like, Michelle, we have got to get her out of here. It's like, that was not one sentence. <laughs> let, me, let me make sure this is on. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Go ahead, David. Three, two, one, play. CBS Wednesday. Now's the time to start scheming. It would be smart to go to the end with Jason. Okay, stop, stop. Can you freaking mute your microphone? I will now that I know that you could probably have him going, I bet he can hear this. That's probably screwing up the recording as we go. All right. So I'm going to. Or, no, no, we'll just listen to yours. Put it up by your uh, microphone. Okay. Crank it all the way up. Turn it so I can see it. <laughs> really? CBS Wednesday. Now's the time to start skiing. It would be smart to go to the end with Jason. Only three episodes remain in this exciting and unpredictable season of survival. Michelle is the next one to go. She's a my good dad. Absolutely not. I am not going to dictate what I vote for. Sydney is not going to be told what to do. I have his own agenda. I'd like you to do it. If it came down to it, would you vote with me or would you vote with them? This is a rough one. A must-see new Survivor, CBS Wednesday, or stream it live or on demand. That is the most cut-up preview i have ever seen in my life yeah here's an example michelle has got to go she is a big threat <laughs> yeah that was all one sentence see i wonder if this if jason goes this week uh mike k broke up this the, this this trailer this commercial on our facebook page and he said the same thing he's like yeah there's you could hardly tell there's two people in the same place having the same i know it was crazy so if, if Jason goes this week, if he doesn't win immunity and he goes, it's it's kind of going to be up a gonging here, it feels like, because it was yeah. Scott, and then it was Julia, and then it was Jason. So so I hope he does win. I love this challenge, the balance challenge, where you got to hold the rope yeah. and build, build the blocks. That looks really neat. Um, I All right. Know, this, so great. who was together going into this episode? Who, who voted together last week? Um... Everybody except Jason and Julia, and Julia's gone. See, I, I, I went for listing Jason as, as the least likely to go last week because I thought he'd be the most likely yeah. to get picked up as a free agent to this week as the most likely to go. I think he's, it's just going to be That's right. They were trying home. to sell us on the Sydney Michelle thing, and Sydney Michelle stuck with Aubrey and Joe and, I guess, yes. Ty. Yeah. I think, I, golly... Yeah. Do you think Aubrey stays in control this week, or do you think she isn't in control and then wisely doesn't try to overexert herself? In other words, that's what I think is going to happen. I think if she <laughs> gives up any control, what did you say? I don't understand what you said. In other words, does, does Aubrey stay in control, or does she realize that other people are wanting to be in control, and so she steps back a little bit, and goes with what they're doing so that she maintains her place in the game. I think at final six, if she steps back, she's lost the game. I think at this point she's got she's had such a control of the game, especially now that she's got Joe and Ty. If Ty tells her the advantage, then they've got the winning votes. They've got four votes. But and Sin- this, this is the time to play it. But Sydney is not wanting to do what Ty wants to do, apparently. Ty wants to get rid of Michelle. Yeah, and Sydney doesn't want to do that. Red herring at it. And no, Sydney probably wants to get rid of Jason. Okay, so let's think about who's not going home. Joe's probably not going home unless 
it's blindside against Aubrey. Because a vote for Joe is a vote against Aubrey. I don't think Joe's going home. I don't think Joe's going home. I don't think Jason's going home. And I don't think Aubrey's going home. So that leaves Ty, Michelle, or Sydney. I think Ty or, Ty or Michelle are the more likely ones to go home. So this is final six. He can only play his advantage one more one more round. Uh, his idol one more round. Or his advantage. I think they're both timed to the same thing. Probably. So um, I don't know if he could start. He better play his idol at some point. Or else he could get blindsided this week and go home with both in his pocket. That's entirely possible. But how how does he get blindsided if he's got Aubrey and Joe? It's three against three. If Sydney, Michelle, and Jason move together. All right. I know what's going to happen. Unless, unless Jason flips and Sydney or Michelle go home. Yeah. I have a prediction. Okay. Sydney's going home. I'm okay with that because she's on yeah. your team. Sydney's going home. It, it, it's, it's not going to hurt me in my... See, I don't think of it. Would you stop thinking about the survival challenge? I'm just ripping. I'm distracting you that way. I think Sydney goes home. I think all of this Sydney's in control thing is a red herring, and Aubrey and Joe and Ty, and probably even Michelle, get rid of Sydney. See, it, could, it would be that's what could be so distressful for Aubrey is that she has to cut ties with Sydney. Yeah, she's just not going along with the plan, and Aubrey's Aubrey wants to include her. Aubrey's final four is probably Sydney, Joe, and Ty. You know, and if Sydney's not on board with that, then she can't trust her going forward. Which is interesting because I'm watching Nicaragua right now at lunch mm-hmm. at work, mm-hmm. and it's it's better than I thought it was than I remember it being. But there's there's points where people got to cut people loose because they can't trust them anymore. Right? You're not sure what they're going to do. You know, and Sydney could be in that situation. You know, people. I don't understand why people say some of the craziest things in front of other people. Yeah, you know, I you, know. You, you do say stuff in private. You don't say it in front of the whole group, but people yeah. still do. All right, so I'm predicting Sydney. I I'm think, predicting the oh, edit, ahead. the commercial is an entire red herring, and Jason goes. All right, but see, if 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 I'm Aubrey, I want to go to the end with Jason and Joe, don't I? I would say Jason, Joe, or Ty, but to protect uh-huh. Jason, who who Michelle and Sydney, I think, want to get rid of. Aubrey's got to pull some real strings. Yeah, I think to protect Jason if she wants to keep him. because if she wants to if she protects Jason at all, then Michelle and Aubrey, Michelle and Sydney should know. Oh, she's not taking us. Yeah, because she should be selling a Sydney Michelle Aubrey final three, but then really want Joe and Jason. Yeah, but that's good at this number with the number so low, she's really gonna have to sell that they're not going after Jason, and then she's got to get tied either use his idol or use his advantage. They keep Jason and get rid of Sydney or Michelle. There you go. Back here from the couch potato seat. Yeah. This is Joe at uh, Final Tribal Council. All right. So you you be Scott and you ask Joe a question. I don't care what it is. Joe, um, it's nice to see you again. We haven't seen you since week two. Thank but, you. But um, do you still realize that you're in the game and why in the world should we vote for you? I'm an FBI agent, by the way. And uh, just a second. That's Joe at Final Travel. Okay, then here's Ty at Final Travel. <laughs> okay, okay. Ask me a question. Ty, so um, you seem to be very well loved by the by the cast and crew, and especially by a chicken with whom you apparently really love. Uh, can you tell us why we should vote you in to win? Aubrey, can I play my idol now? <laughs> If I play my idol, can I avoid? If I play my advantage, can I avoid this question? Yes. Can I play my advantage to give myself a vote at Final Tribal Council? <laughs> I shouldn't say too much. I might get to meet Ty in Maine. So I don't want to. Well, he won't hear this, but so. Nah, he ain't listening. <laughs> we kid. Actually, he ain't listening because this is a Patreon thing, a patron right. thing. So. All right, man. Well, that was a D and D extra. That was fun. That was a little longer. We did a good fifteen minutes worth tonight. And it only took us eighteen to get on one. That's right. Well, because of me. Are you sending? Are you? Uh, well, what are you doing with your computer? Are you going to get a new hard drive? Do I need to look for one and get it sent yes. to you? Mm-hmm. Okay, I need to. Yeah, send. I'll, I'll replace it. Well, it's something we can do over the summer. It's not like we have to do it. Exactly. I don't think yeah. we're going to get it done by the end of the season. Not with three more episodes. But I want to do another thing. Well, we got one dimension. Yeah, we've got several things coming up. But uh, but with with only six left and three episodes, 
So we go down to five for next week, and then we go down to four for the finale. I think yeah. all those mathematicians are right that we could be looking at the final two. Have yeah. to be looking at the final two. Aubrey and Joe. Put that much in there. Aubrey and Joe and CBS freaks out how they're going to make us think Joe might win. <laughs> See, see that's, that's why I think this edit, that's why I think they put so much time into this edit that it's an easy vote out. They all just gang up on Jason, but they can't sell it that way. Joe, Joe is like the guy who played, was it Tom? What was the guy's name that played in your season of uh, Durham Bob. Warriors? Bob. Oh, my Bob. God. It was so frustrating. Uh, so frustrating hey, to watch. That was his plan. He played yeah. his personality. Yeah, there you Quiet, go. super nice guy. He's good yeah. in challenges, though. Yeah. All right, everybody. We, we can't make this last longer than it already is. See you later, yeah, everybody. Bye. Bye.